Hello there. My name is George Hurst. In this program, we would like to show you a very simple way to color a horse's head. To do this job, which we will call the Stolman method, uh, we don't need a whole lot of uh, material. We basically have some two colors of uh, uh, EcoFlow leather dye, the timber brown and the dark cocoa brown, and also some EcoFlow Cova color in white. Uh, we have, of course, some, some water, some clear water, several sizes of brushes, and a very fine point magic marker. We are going to use a very simple method as explained by Al Stolman in his How to Carve Leather book in that we will use three different strengths of our dye. We will use a three to one mixture, that is uh, three parts water and one part dye. We will use a half and half mixture and also some full strength. An easy way to do that is take your brush and put like one two, three, four, five, six brushfuls in, in one of the wells, and we'll put six, one, two, three, four, five, six in my other well. Now, to make my three to one mixture where I put six, I'll just put one, two brushfuls of the, of the dye. Now in the other one I will put, to make half and half, I will put six, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we can mix them up with our brush. And we always keep our water handy so that we can keep our brush clean. Before you uh, start uh, with your dyeing, it's a good idea to uh, test your colors on some scrap leather and uh, to see how our colors actually look. And, uh, and then we can make any adjustments that's needed before we actually start on the horse. And I'm kind of pleased with this. You can see this uh, second mixture is a little bit darker than the first mixture, and that's exactly what we want. And we will use some full strength as well. I will start first with my lightest mixture and I will start here under the ear and under the forehead and I will bring it on down under the jaw. Now if you will notice, I am bringing my brush strokes in the same direction as the hair growth. And I will pretty much drag the brush from the dark areas to the light areas. I'm assuming that my light is coming from up top of the forehead down this way, so I will have, of course, have shadows underneath the jaw, as you see me doing here. And I'll drag the brush from the dark areas towards the lighter areas. Now, as this dries, this shade is gonna be quite light, so we're pretty much going to cover the entire head with this color. We'll keep going from the dark toward the light and along with the, the direction of the hair growth. Please note as I spread my dye, I allow the brush to spread out rather than just use the tip.
please note that I am still going from the deeper or dark, darker areas toward the lighter areas. You can see as I kind of outline this ear. I'm going to leave a an open area on the forehead here, uh, which I will later come back and put a white blaze on there. You can see now as this dries over here on the neck, it's uh, looking better now. Get it quite heavy down here in the, in the nostril. At times you'll notice I'm using the brush quite dry where I do not want much color. And up in here where I need more color, I'll have my brush quite wet. Now I am using the darker color, and as you can see now, uh, I will use this uh, a lot more sparingly, and I'll use it only in the deepest areas, and I'll pull the brush from the deep areas to the lighter areas. I'll put this second color quite heavy down in the ear openings. Just a little bit in the temple. And then we can start working it into these darker areas. Notice now we're doing it sparingly. It's now time to go to a smaller brush and get into some of these smaller areas. And notice I'm only doing it in the deepest parts here. I will now deepen this color on the lower part of the jaw. And now I will use some of the full strength dye and I will use it very, very sparingly down in the deepest parts only. You can get rather liberal with it in the nostril. Uh, just the deepest parts of the nostril. Same thing is true with the ears. We will go into the deepest parts of the ear openings only. And we will go into the areas under the forelock here. Now you're going to notice when this gets dry, it'll look quite well. I'm now taking a few brushfuls of the white and putting it in one of the cavities. And then I will take some water and also put in there. In fact, we want to make a very light white to go on the main and the forelock, and after I have my mixture, I will, of course, test it on my uh, piece of scrap leather, and this looks pretty good. We want to have it quite, uh, uh, let me put a little more water in here, quite uh, pale when we put it on because 
as it gets dry, it will get brighter. I will go on here now with a fairly dry brush because I just want to brush over the surface of the, the hair. Do not necessarily want to get down into the shallow cuts that we have on here. Now this might look kind of pale right now, but believe me, as it dries, it will brighten up considerably. Do the same thing on the mane. On this particular horse, the mane is laying on the other side of the head. That makes it easier for us to put the blaze on the forehead. I do it very, very lightly. And notice that my brush strokes go pretty much in the direction of the blaze. Now, if it gets too white, you can just take your finger and just kind of dab on there. And that'll get rid of some of the brush strokes and soften the edges on it. Well, our horse head is looking pretty good now. The only thing I would comment on is it looks like it's blind. So let's do the eyeball. And that's why I have the magic marker. I will use the magic marker very carefully to get down in the eyeball. Now you can do this if you want with dye uh, or you can do it as I am with the magic marker. Now, if you will notice that I'm going to leave a little highlight. This will be the gleam in the horse's eye. And now, all of a sudden, our horse has come to life. If you want, you can use some white cova color and put a little gleam in his eye. And there you have it, a very, very easy way to color a horse's head. You can choose the color that you want to make the color of horse that you want and just use the same method that we used here with the Timber Brown.